Hello, this is Troy Miller with SpicyJello.com. Um, had a question about how to use Capture One and Lightroom together. So let's say, for example, you wanted to edit your images in Capture One, and then you wanted to export them so that Lightroom could access them for maybe extended database management if you wanted to do that, or using the print module, <coughs> excuse me, or for whatever reason that might suit your fancy. So what I'm going to do is I have a test folder here of some wedding images and you can see, let's see, get in there. There we go. So here's a bunch of images. Let's say that I went through these in Capture One. I've edited those. I've got those all tuned up the way that I want. So what I'm going to do is, is I've created a folder. You can see it's in the top right hand corner of the screen. Just a little, move that down there. So basically it says 2019 C1 edited for Lightroom. So think of that as like capture one images have been edited and processed and they're gonna go into Lightroom. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna select the images that I've edited. Could be a job, could be a single image. In this case, I'm gonna pick, I don't know, maybe like half a dozen. And then in capture one, you're gonna to go to the export module and I'm creating a new uh, export process recipe. You would just hit the plus sign and then type in the name that you wanna have and then make sure you have the check box selected. And then down here under basic, I've chosen to be a PSD. You could choose a TIFF or a DNG or whatever. Um, I'm gonna choose PSD. There we go, I'm not gonna change the resolution or anything. So basically that's outputting it at full size. We'll do 16 bit, cause we wanna maintain all that data. And then here's where <clears throat> you're gonna to have to change every single time. So what you have to do is under the root folder, you're gonna to have to choose where you want this job to go. Because I'm assuming you're gonna do more jobs, which means that you're gonna have subfolders and folders and folders. So in this case, what you do is select the drop down list, hit select folder, and I'm going to navigate to my desktop and the 2019 folder edited. And I've already created one in there earlier as a test, but for this one, we're going to call this one um, Nick Brianna Wedding. And then I'll put like a dash C1. So I know it was edited in C1. You can use whatever method works best for you. All right, hit open. Now I'm not going to do any adjustments. So that's set to, to none. Um, no metadata that I care about that I'm going to uncheck or anything. And I'm not doing a watermark. So I'm going to leave that alone. <clears throat> so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit process down here under the process summary. Or if you have it up in your toolbar up here, you can just hit the gear. And if you right click and say customize toolbar, you can put whatever up there in the top you want and you can organize them. So I'm going to hit the gear and it's going to process those. You can see there's some progress down here. And if you have the batch turned on, you can actually see who's processing what. And it's not going to matter to capture one, whether you're, whether you processed out a DNG or an NEF or even a PSD that you maybe did some additional work on in capture one, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to output everything. And here is my folder. There is Capture One, Nick and Brianna. So there's all the images in there in PSD. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import those into Lightroom. And what I can, what I do is I grab the folder I wanna import, I drag it down and I simply drop it onto the icon of Lightroom, opens up the dialog box. Now I always build smart previews for Capture for Lightroom. And I set the, the building previews to minimal because I don't wanna wait for it to build one-to-ones. So I'm just going to do import. Let that let that run. This is the joy of Lightroom taking its time. Okay, pause the recording and came back because Lightroom is taking its time. <clears throat> so now what you'll see down here is you'll see Nick and Brianna, and there's my images. So now you can continue within within uh, uh, Lightroom to do whatever you want to do. So. Let's say, continuing our workflow, we go back to Capture One, we do some more edits on some other jobs, and we wanna do the same thing. We're gonna export these. Now I'm gonna put these in a different folder. Um, this is a uh, JSON, oops. 
select the folder and we're already in let me go back here desktop where's my desktop there we go in 2019 we create a new folder and I'm going to call it Jason Maria wedding C1 hit open I'm going to go to Jason Maria C1 Oop, process there we go process those are output so there it is Bill and Jennifer have nothing in them so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that just for the for the sake of keeping everything simple now one of the benefits of, of Lightroom is once you've imported something and you've got a folder system in Lightroom, you don't have to constantly drag new folders in because the, the root is already there. And I will show you what I mean by that is if I go onto desktop on the, in the browser on Lightroom over here on the left, you see desktop and then it says 2019. So you want edited for Lightroom. I created another folder in there. We know it's there. Lightroom doesn't know it's there. So if we right click, and say synchronize folder, Lightroom will look in there and anything that's changed, it'll just automatically add or remove. So you could do a ton of jobs from Capture One, dump them into the Lightroom folder, and then all at once, you just synchronize that root folder, <clears throat> and then everything in Lightroom will synchronize and then will be the same as what lives in that folder. And we're waiting on Lightroom again. There you go. It's going to take a minute. But the goal is, you know, we've moved from Lightroom. I mean, I'm sorry, from Capture One into Lightroom with images that have been tweaked in Capture One. And now you're ready to take those images from Lightroom and do whatever editing or processing or printing or adding them to an existing database that you need to. All right. I hope that was helpful. If you guys like, you can check out my blog at spicyjello.com forward slash thoughts, or you can catch me at twippro.com.